Okay, so recently this clip kind of went semi-viral on underground rap Twitter. I don't know why I just said underground rap Twitter. But it did get a lot of attention and I wanted to react to it. So if you didn't know, there's this guy named Hakeem and he's kind of like the interviewer for Our Generation Music. He used to be on No Jumper and I guess after that he didn't really do much and then he got this job with Our Generation Music and he's had some stuff with Rolling Loud as well, I'm pretty sure. And he's done a lot of interviews. That's all you really need to know about him. But anyways, there's this clip where from his interview with Summers, he's talking about Yeet and he's just so enthusiastic about Yeet. He's like so hyped and he's just like nerding out about this one aspect about Yeet or the way Yeet rapped on his famous song Get Busy. And Summers and Summers crew just like don't care at all. Like they're like, yo, stop talking. Like we don't care about this. But Hakeem, the interviewer, he's just like a super jolly, nice guy, right? And I'm not even hating on him. He just cannot read the room at all in this situation. And he just keeps rambling on about Yeet's like this one way he's rapping and they just don't care so anyways let's get into it i just want to give you some context i'm not gonna lie after he said but here's a bell he already lost me like i had no idea where he was going with that if you look at it in the music like an artist's face he turns to you and said yo this song is already turned but here's a bell mm -hmm. then he goes back into the song I've seen him. so what he's trying to say is he said the song was turned but here's a bell and then he goes back into the song so he's like act he's like breaking the fourth wall and he's like adding another dimension to the song which let's be honest yeet did not do that on purpose and he's completely over analyzing the song and he just it was probably just a freestyle yeet made on his laptop at like 4 a.m off a ton of drugs yeah it was pretty awkward summers just took like a sip of his cup and he's like huh huh and then look at Desire's face the entire time. Like, bro is so confused. Like, just zoom in on his face. Like, he's so confused. Like, he has no idea what's what Hakeem is talking about. He's just looking at him, like, waiting for the thing to be over. And they just, like, awkwardly stare at him. But Hakeem, he, he just, like, doesn't get the message, right? So he just keeps going. So he said, he's rapping in the song. And then, here's a bell. Yeah, still no response. Honestly, he should have just understood that, like, yo, just keep him pushing. But he just kept going like, even more. So for the third time trying to explain it, Summers just couldn't take anymore and was like, yo, shut up. <laughs> we don't look at it that deep. The song's already turned. But here's a bell. He's talking about how lit the song is, but uh -huh. here's a bell. <laughs> uh, we don't look at it that deep. And I guess the interview just moved on. To me, the interaction was kind of like someone trying to explain a joke to you. Like if you ever try to explain a joke to someone when they don't get a joke, it just kills a joke and the vibe in general. But in this case, it was just horrible because Hakeem didn't understand at all like that they didn't care about the about like the detail that he was trying to explain. And most people after watching it just got secondhand embarrassment. I actually watched this interview. I didn't realize how bad it was. Like it was mad awkward. And basically where this came from was Hakeem had a question or like a conversation with Earl Sweatshirt and Earl Sweatshirt kind of explained to Hakeem how Yeet was breaking the fourth wall of music and he explained it to Hakeem and Hakeem probably like nerded out about it and thought it was really cool but they just looked so bored when he was explaining to him it was just really funny so this is another thing about underground music a lot of times people will act like this stuff is super deep and it has a ton of meaning to it which a lot of it does sometimes it has a lot of meaning for example summer's latest project has a lot of like personal experiences and anecdotes and just stories about his life but like some of the stuff is just random freestyles that just sounds hard like this yeet song like this is 100 percent a random freestyle and i know earl the sweatshirt who's like a big rapper if you only listen to underground rap you don't know who he is but he's a pretty well-known rapper told it to hakeem but it was still kind of cringe you know like no one really thinks about it like that like i don't even think a music nerd would think about it like that i think you just got to be like a nerd or something to think about it like that not that that's a bad observation to make it's just that whole interaction was just kind of funny to me so i just wanted to react to it super short video see you next time